What's up, everybody? I'm Josh Meek, the Uber Geek. Thank you very much for joining me here on Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture show. Uh, so just yesterday, we got a trailer for a movie that, you know, I'm anticipating pretty heavily, and that movie is Ready Player One. Now, we'd seen a teaser for Ready Player One thus far. We'd seen a poster. We knew a little bit about the film. This fleshes it out a bit farther, gives us a lot more of a taste of what the movie is going to be about. It definitely gets way more into a plot rundown. Uh, you get kind of a synopsis from Wade, the main character, and also we get a little taste of the uh, the message sent out by Halliday in the in the movie. Of course, Halliday is the creator of the uh, fake internet in Ready Player One, the Oasis, and of course, his death and the Easter egg hunt that he leaves behind is the impetus for the entire film for tracking down all of these keys to gain control of the Oasis. You know, it's certainly a movie that uh, the the book was written, you know, years ago, but has a lot to say today, especially in the wake of all of this net neutrality conversation. You know, everyone fighting for control of the Internet uh, certainly is is more relevant today than it ever, ever truly has been. However, this movie, you know, is going to aim on the lighter side. It's certainly going to be a, a fun romp, it seems like. Um, it, it has tons of references. That is the main thing about the book as well. The, the book really aims to reference tons of stuff from the 80s, from your childhood. It, it really wants to pull on those nostalgia strings, but it does it tastefully. It does a really good job of it. It's not uh, weird and awkward doing it like a lot of things that try to lean so heavily on nostalgia and references are. And this trailer, uh, it's, it's, it's no different. It, it certainly is, is packed completely to the brim with references, but they don't feel lame or over the top, at least not yet. Uh, and they certainly skew a bit newer than the ones in the book. All the references in, in the book were definitely going for kind of 80s references, early video game history, 80s movies, things like that. This seems to shoot straight for the internet era, uh, you know, stuff that uh, that is cool now in, in a lot of cases, but also stuff that kind of harkens back and goes all the way back to the 80s. Uh, there is a, a big battle scene in, in the trailer, and in, in that battle scene, we get tons of references. We get tons of people uh, in, in combat that you kind of have to pause the trailer for and go through frame by frame, which I have done <laughs> in order to see all of these people. So I'll just run down a, a list of things that I've picked out in this trailer so far, and I, and I know that there's so many more. Um, Tracer from Overwatch is in there in that battle scene. Chun-Li from Street Fighter. Uh, mobile suit Gundam. In fact, RX-78-2, the original Gundam, is, is in this trailer. Iron Giant. Uh, Battletoads are, are in it for just a frame or two. We, we get to see Chucky, the, the evil doll Chucky, fly across the screen and, and just, you know, completely <laughs> obliterate somebody. Uh, earlier in the trailer, outside of the battle scenes, we, we see uh, Deadpool, of course, walking in a club. In that same club, we get to see Joker and Harley Quinn, uh, and it goes on and on and on. Of course, there's, you know, very prominent DeLorean references. I, I think this is going to be one of those movies that people need, need people have to watch hundreds and hundreds of times to pick out every little plot detail, every little reference, and it, it, it will take forever for all of those to, to get found, and people will document them on the internet. It's certainly going to be one of those types of movies. Now, the only thing that, uh, that that gives me pause in in this trailer is that this uh, definitely, you know, it was, it was something I noticed in the teaser and something that continues here. This is much different from the book. The actual plot seems like it's going to be much different than what we got in the book. Not necessarily a bad thing, but we see, you know, the there's a, a race in the, the trailer that was a, a prominent feature of the teaser as well, and that race is nowhere to be found in the book. It looks super cool, and you get a chance to see, you know, some really crazy action. And a lot of what happens in the book would need to be translated for a movie audience. There's just stuff that just doesn't visually make a lot of sense uh, when you translate it to a movie. It was fun to read about, but doesn't actually make for a good 
film. So things have to change, but of course the question is how much changed and did the right things get changed? Is it still a good story at the end of it? Now I have faith because of course Spielberg knows how to movie real good. He's done a few of those. <laughs> so, you know, uh, as the, as the uh, producer, kind of the man who's, who's, who's directing and sort of guiding this ship, uh, I, I, think that, I think that he knows how to put together a good film and knows what's correct for film versus a book. And, of course, the script is being co-written by Ernest Cline, who is the author of Ready Player One. So uh, he, he, if anyone, would know exactly what his book is trying to do and would, I think, know how to translate that into to film. So, so far I am, I'm still really excited about this movie. I'm excited to, to get in there and watch it multiple times just to try to catch all of these references and stuff. And the story still seems really, really cool. It seems like they're really making some interesting decisions as they, uh, as they create this movie. So I'm, I'm very excited. So that's going to do it for Pretty Dees for today. Thank you very much for joining me. Make sure that you like Pretty Dees on Facebook, facebook.com slash Pretty Dees Show. Of course, follow me on Twitter at Pretty Dees Show and visit prettydeesshow.com. I'll be back tomorrow as always. Until then, hit that subscribe button on whatever platform you are watching or listening on so you never miss that content when it drops. <laughs>